Musicians, this is AJ Nicholas Online, just showing you a few little secrets here regarding my song True. So something I wanted to do for this song was to um, basically get some uh, variation in the uh, sustain pedal. So what I did, I'm going to play it back for you here. Um, now that's not going to sound very clean coming through analog, but just to give you a taste, uh, it's going to be very subtle, but the variation in the sustain pedal is what I'm going for. So instead of leaving all of these at maximum, when a pianist's foot is on the right pedal, which is the sustain pedal, uh, they're not always pressing all the way down. So they could be, but um, their mind is usually focused on reading the composition or playing from memory and feeling the piece as they play it. So um, that's all a bit of connectivity that's very advanced to think about. But um, what you see here is just these little variations. And this is going to make a, a very subtle difference, but it's what gives the piece a sense of realism to where the average listener will not even be able to detect that this song was composed uh, digitally. So uh, that's really what I'm going for is... Um, you know, not so much to fool everyone's ears, but to make the song sound so pleasant that, and so, you know, with the subtle variations is what I keep mentioning, is, is, is doing that gives it that sense of realism. So that's the main point I want to make in the video here. Um, doing a few little adjustments here in the opening. I'm, I'm going for a soft opening. So with the volume gradually coming up and, um, uh, this is a basic thing called GarageBand. So um, believe it or not, I did my instrumental album called Instrum, which I'm now publishing to CD Baby right as I speak. Um, I did it all on GarageBand. So I mean, a lot of people say, well, I think you should try Logic. I think, I mean, you know, I'm doubling down on what's working. I'm going to double down on what I'm familiar with. And when I'm ready to upgrade, I'll upgrade. <laughs> but I really wanted to get good at mastering one tool. And so I'm getting good at mastering my piano. I have an upright piano in my music studio. It was a hand-me-down from a friend. And um, took a while to get it, but once I got it, I decided I am gonna master this thing. And the piano, I did a tuner, ran a tuner on it. It was like 97% in tune. And I'm like, well, I don't really wanna do live recording of this piano with the basic equipment I have. And so thank goodness for GarageBand. Hats off to um, the designers at Apple. Uh, this is actually a fantastic program. Um, there's no, I'm, I don't really have a, any paid endorsement right now, but I would just say start with GarageBand. It is a fantastic program. And it sometimes just gets a wrap as like a basic thing. But you can even see what I did here. If we remove the sustain, um, we look at these notes. There's a metronome that I could have used. And I actually played it in without a metronome because I really wanted to have that real world feel. And I was so comfortable playing this song, uh, even though I had a basic keyboard uh, with a little bit of latency. Uh, that means it took a, like a very slight delay from the digital signal going from the keyboard to the computer. Um, and it kind of threw me off as the notes were going in, but I just played it back and then I went through and I just made little adjustments here and there. And yes, I know that's time consuming compared to having more professional equipment, but as a beginner, that is something you should be willing to do. So if you are willing to uh, take that time and just piece it together, you get these beautiful melodies. So check out True on Spotify or YouTube or wherever you can find it. I, I'm trying to get more followers on my SoundCloud, so I'll post those links below. And I got to wrap it up. I got a lot I'm doing today, so that's all for now. Uh, if you want to watch another one of my videos, just click on the screen to subscribe and get started. Um, I know you're going to be busy. I don't expect you to watch all my stuff. I know you want to create your own content. So I actually encourage you just to subscribe now, and then whatever's inspiring you, uh, go and do it. Make it a great day. God bless. Thanks for watching. Bye.